What's going on YouTube, GSNOMARE here, so in today's video we're going to talk about the newest version of the Double Helix jailbreak for the iOS 10.3.3 and lower on 64-bit. Just a couple hours ago, Teamstar has updated the jailbreak with two new versions and we're going to see exactly which versions in here. For those of you who do not know, this jailbreak supports all 64-bit devices on iOS 10.x except the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now, of course, you can jailbreak with this one and replace the Saigon jailbreak, the Yalu jailbreak, and Houdini and whatever you're using. So, if you want to jailbreak on iOS 10.x, no matter which version of iOS 10, you're good to go with Double Helix. Now, the new version is actually RC8, but before that, the RC7 has been published containing the actual modifications compared to the RC6, which was the latest version up until the RC7. But the problem is that the RC8 comes up to fix the broken patch finder. This bug has been introduced in the RC7, according to Teamstar. So Teamstar posted here on his Twitter just a couple of hours ago, quote, just pushed double helix RC7. By the way, RC means release candidate, which should increase exploit success rate on A9 devices. Be sure to tell me if anything's broken. And of course the link in there. But then a lot of people started to report errors, uh, offset errors and so on and more and more errors and therefore he decided to pretty much push another update which is the RC8 that we will have to download which fixes the broken patch finder. He says in here quote, as always if you don't do stuff properly once you'll end up doing it twice. Pushed the RC8 which should fix the bug introduced by RC7 and he pretty much says that he managed to break his uh, iPhone 5s again which means he doesn't have a test device anymore for the moment, which is bad. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now if you do have an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 7 Plus, it's unfortunate, but you will not be able to jailbreak on any iOS 10 version using the double helix. You will have to pretty much wait for the Meridian, which will support iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, as you can see from here. Now the Meridian jailbreak is still in the works and I'm not entirely sure when it will hit the uh, public release for the next version, which should be either the beta 7 or an RC release candidate, but this one will be the jailbreak you will have to use on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. For anybody else using any other device than the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, go ahead and update your double helix now. Now if you're using Goblin, you can switch to double helix with no problem and according to Timstar and Saigusa, you should be fine with no problems whatsoever if you do that. So don't worry about it, if you want to switch to the um, double helix jailbreak, you can do so. Just make sure that you do update to the RC8, uh, which apparently increases the success rate, especially on the A9 devices, and removes a redundant copy of Cydia from the IPA package. So yeah, that's pretty much it about this video guys, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that moves in the jailbreak community, I'm Geosnow, until the next time, peace out.